going on everyone? Dev the Michigander here coming back at you from Blake's Orchard and Cider Mill. Let's go check this place out. There's so many different things to do here and which ways to go. They even got like a fun land which is, has like, a, it's like a little mini farm theme park but there's no rides except for like a tractor ride. But we're gonna try to go into the tasting room uh, that they have here. We're gonna try some of their hard ciders and probably try to get something to eat. But hopefully we can get in here because this place is very packed. Like there's, there's a line to the tasting room so hopefully we can get in. Alrighty everybody, well the tasting room was a 3 hours and 45 minute wait, so I think we're going to pass on that because there is actually a walk up kitchen out here and they got a lot of different items like pretzel bites and stuff like that but I, I think I'm going to get the turkey club so and then we're going to try to find like a flight around here because there's a couple other bars out here and I want to try some different ones because here they have some ones I've already had already so I got me a turkey club on rye and then I got a cinnamon donut stout to try they didn't have any flights which was a shame but at least we got to try one. Now I'm gonna try the cinnamon donut stout. Cheers. That's pretty good. Ooh, tastes just like a cinnamon donut. I'm also going to try the Sir Lushington, which is a uh, hard cider that's been in oak barrel with cherry in it. So. That's pretty good. I'm more of a cider drinker than anything. All right, now it's time to go into the barnyard like fun land. <laughs> All right, we made it inside the fun land area, and there's so much to do here. They have a, a goat walk where you can go inside and you can like pet goats. And I got like a story barn over here with animatronics in it, which we're probably gonna enter probably first. So let's go on into the story barn. Come on in here. It has like stories from like chill childhood and it has animatronics. And it doesn't look like any of the animatronics are working. Come on in. Oh, there they go. What fun we have in store for you. I'm ready for you. Listen and enjoyment. Let me introduce our man. Right in front of the And then there's the the owl. Press the owl. Let's see. Let's see what this owl does. Okay. Now that's kind of creepy. Alright, here we are. I believe this one's the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. So we're gonna see what this one does. Oh, there's the three little pigs right there. Okay, there's another one. There's, there's one up there. Now, the wolf comes out over here, it looks like. Okay. That's a little terrifying. Yeah, these are from when I was a kid. So these are the same animatronics from when I was like 9 and 10 years old. So I'm 23 right now. So that tells you how old these animatronics actually are. This lady that lives in a shoe with like all of her children going around and around here. And I don't know this one. It's like working on the, well, the song Working on the Railroad. And there's a tunnel. And they actually have almost a full size locomotive right here. Uh, these animatronics have seen better days, but they are quite terrible. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater and his wife, who lives in a pumpkin, he's in there taking a bath. 
Right, well, we're going to see his wife pop out right here. Oh, there she comes. Oh, that's not terrifying. Then there's Mary had a little lamb. I think that's it after this one. Yep, that's all of it. Come over here and see a llama. Just, it's just in their barn chilling. I'm looking at us, wondering what we're doing. There's so much to do here. I ride bikes. I like these tractor tricycles over here. And they even got these funny animatronics that will go off at certain times to entertain you over here. And there's also a corn maze and a hay right here and a train ride that we might catch. Over here they have like a hay braille maze and they have a corn maze which I think we're actually going to go enter. It's probably not as hard as the last one we went into which I'll put a link down in the description for that video so you guys can go check it out at the Johnson's Pumpkin. Uh, great Johnson's Great Pumpkin. So yeah, go check that out. Going to Blakesville Ghost Town. It looks like it's like a small little haunted attraction type thing. I don't think there's any actors in it, but I'm gonna go through and have some fun. I'll go first. Ooh, spooky skeletons. Whoa. That's all it is. <laughs> Just little animatronics. Oh, oh, there's a jack in the box. Ooh, there's a creepy spider. <laughs> oh. oh, it looks like a guy in chains. She's back here jumping. Why is she jumping? Because that dude she jumped. Is there something in that corner right there? Ooh. Big green reaper right there. Is that bad? That was the first house. Now we're going to the second one. Oh, now we're into the second one. We're going first now. But I think this is actually the black hole. Yeah, it's the black hole. Sweet. Oh, man. Whoa. Feel like the room's spinning. Whoa. <laughs> I scared you. Yeah, one more. One last one. Here we go. Oh, that sign says live actors in play. <laughs> oh, there's zombies. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, they're pushing me. <laughs> There's no actors. Ever you fine? <laughs> we almost oh, done. Oh, we're done. All right. Well, we went into that little haunted area, and there's nobody in there at all. Like no actors, no nothing. I should know. I work at a haunted house, but it's a good like entry level for little kids to get into. So it's a lot of fun if you want to check it out. My my two sisters, they got scared. They got like. And here they got like different games you can play like basketball, baseball, uh, football, and soccer. So we're gonna play some football over here. Got a little section that we can stay in and play. All right, I'm gonna try my hand at this. Let's get this. I think this, yeah, this is an NFL size football. Okay, I don't wanna hit you in the head. You might wanna move. And that's why I do not play sports. Try it one more time. Try it one more time. Nope. Climb a big hay barrel thing over here, and then they have those some jumping pads and beanbag toss, and you can test your strength over here. This is probably the easiest hoops that we can find. Oh wow, you made it. Let's see if you can make it. Yeah, and you missed. <laughs> and you missed. Devin, you can't throw. Devin, you can't throw. Yeah. Oh my god. Nice shot. Oh. I got one and I didn't even play baseball. 
And over here you can do some uh, rock mining and get like gems and stuff. All right, we made it on the train and now we're gonna take a little cruise around the farm area. Oh, it looks like where they lost a whole bunch of soccer balls and footballs over here. Baseball. Yeah. Oh man. We just got off the train ride and it was a nice relaxing train ride around the apple fields. Um, and the price to get into all this was like $20 per person. So you be the judge to see if it's worth it or not. In my opinion, once you do it once, you don't have to do it again. So uh, right now I'm actually walking over because I saw a t-shirt and I see how much it is I want. And yeah, then we're gonna probably just end the day. We grab some ciders and donuts, but we have these. We've had these ciders and donuts many times, so we know they're good. So yeah, so I'm gonna go grab this t-shirt, and then we might just end the vlog. Alrighty, I picked up a nice button-up uh, shirt from their hard cider line. Alrighty, everybody, well that was a fun little adventure today here at Blake's uh, Cider Mill and Orchard. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Helps me out, makes me feel good. And if you guys are new here, remember to subscribe because you'll never miss a video if you subscribe. And with that being said, guys, get your foot out the door and explore. I'll see you guys in the next one.